This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating cell potential. The cell potential can be calculated using this equation. So the cell potential measured under standard conditions is equal to the standard electrode potential of the half cell that undergoes reduction minus the standard electrode potential value of the half cell that undergoes oxidation. An easy way to remember this equation is E red minus E ox. The standard electrode potential values are the reduction potentials and must be used as given in the data booklet. Standard electrode potential values are intensive quantities, therefore they are not multiplied according to the stoichiometry of the equation. Let's look at an example. Here we have a voltaic cell which is composed of a zinc half cell and a copper half cell. Below the diagram we have the shorthand notation for the voltaic cell and we also have the values for the standard reduction potentials of the zinc half cell and the copper half cell. Using these values we can deduce which half cell will undergo oxidation and which half cell will undergo reduction. The half cell with the more negative electrode potential value will be oxidized and the half cell with the more positive electrode potential value will be reduced. So if we look at these two values we can see that zinc has the more negative electrode potential value and copper has the more positive electrode potential value. This means that the zinc half cell will undergo oxidation and the copper half cell will undergo reduction. So next we'll use this equation to calculate the cell potential. So we just saw that the copper half cell will undergo reduction and the zinc half cell will undergo oxidation. So next we input the values for the reduction potentials of the copper half cell and the zinc half cell. That gives us positive 0.34 minus negative 0.76 which gives us a cell potential of positive 1.10 volts. Let's look at one more example. Here we have the shorthand notation for a voltaic cell composed of a magnesium half cell and an iron half cell. And here we have the values for the standard reduction potentials as found in the data booklet. From these values we can see that the magnesium half cell has the more negative value for the reduction potential and the iron half cell has the more positive value for the reduction potential. Once again we'll use this equation to calculate the cell potential. The iron half cell will undergo reduction and the magnesium half cell will undergo oxidation. So when we input the values we get negative 0.45 minus negative 2.37. This gives us a cell potential of positive 1.92 volts.